Uh, given this, find f of x. This is a kind of a question that quite a lot, quite, quite often you see, it. and uh, just, just a method, the method to discuss. Now here I'm using three methods. Particularly the third method is not quite often seen. Okay, the first method, uh, which is most often students are using, and uh, you let uh, y be 2x plus 1, right? Yeah. And from which we can find uh, x is a from y minus 1 over, OK, that's the x. It's all right. Then <clears throat> my function becomes f of a y, right? For this is x, y square minus 2 y minus 1. So this is equal to 4, right? 4, 4 cancel out. y squared minus 2y plus 1 minus y plus 1. Yeah. So this is 1 equal to y squared minus 3y plus 2. So that means uh, f of x is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 2. Because here, y and x are just a dummy variable. OK, this is, this is the most often, most often used method. Now, the second method, uh, f of x, f of a 2x plus 1 is equal to 4x minus 2x. Now, if I consider 2x plus 1 is a, well, like an indep independent variable as a unit, then I, I just created that unit and to see what kind of form it, it will be. So this one equal to 2x Uh, this will be 2x, right? Minus 1. This one equal to... Now, I try to create 2x plus 1 as a unit. So this one will be 2x plus 1 and the minus 1, right? That is by independent variable. And here, the same thing. I consider 2x plus 1 as a unit. But that maintain the equal sign, so it's a minus two, right? So then this is a two x plus one square. This time this one plus this time this one is minus three two x plus one and a plus two. So that means if I consider this as a unit. Then f of x is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 2. Okay, that is a, the function we're looking for from method 2. Okay, these two, these two methods are most, well, commonly, most often we, we are using. Now, what is the... What I want to introduce is the third method. This method is, uh, I think, is very good, even if, well, even though it is a little longer. For x minus two, we are looking for f of x. <clears throat> this method requires the knowledge of uh, calculus. So, okay, uh, for those uh, for those who learned basic calculus course, then uh, this method can be can be used. 
Uh, I start with this. I start let y be 2x plus 1. Okay. Then uh, dy dx is equal to, right? Correct. Then f of y is equal to 4x squared minus 2x. Yeah. That's correct. Now, here, this, this is the crucial step. I'm differentiating both sides of this equation with respect to x, which means that I take this one, f of a y, the derivative of f of y with respect to x would be equal to 8x minus 2, right? Yeah, good. But when you take the derivative of this function with respect to x, you have to take the derivative with respect to y first, then using chain rule, times the derivative of y with respect to x, which means that the derivative of f with respect to y, then the derivative of y with respect to x. That is this, which is equal to 8x minus 2. Right? Now, we know that this is, a, this is true. Therefore, df dy is equal to 4x minus 1. That's correct. Now then, for this equation, I'm differentiate both sides with respect to x. So I take the derivative of this. Take this derivative with respect to x. It would be equal to 4, right? But this function is a function of a y, no? You have to use chain rule. So this means the derivative of this function with respect to y first, then multiply the dy dx. This is a chain rule. Okay, this is equal to 4, equal to 4. <clears throat> and this is the second derivative. This is the second derivative of f with respect to y is equal to 4. No, sorry. This is, let me restart again. This is the second derivative of f with respect to y, and uh, this is a dy dx is a 2. Well, dy dx 2 is 4. So this means that the second derivative of uh, f with respect to y is a uh, 2. And then we can differentiate, now you, we can integrate both sides with respect to y. So d f of dy will be equal to 2y plus c. We integrate both sides with respect to y. Okay, this means that df dy is 4x minus 1. 4x minus 1, that is this, is equal to 2 y is a 2x plus 1, 2x plus 1, plus c. And from which we can find a c, right? c is equal to, c is equal to minus 3. Well, it's just easy to, easy to determine c is equal to minus 3. Therefore, 
df dy is equal to y minus 3. Okay. C is minus 3. Then we integrate both sides with respect to y again. So this means f of a y is equal to y squared minus 3y plus another constant. This is d. But we know that f of a y is equal to 4x squared, OK? This is equal to 4x squared minus 2x. And uh, x, uh, y is a 2x plus 1, right? Square minus 3, 2x plus 1, plus d is equal to 4x square minus 2x. And from which that the d is found, d is equal to. OK, that's simple algebra. Then, then f of x is equal to x squared minus 3x plus d. So y and x are just dummy variable. So we find this one. Now, even though this is a little longer, looks quite well, quite complicated, but it's a method. It's it is a method. I I I think it is a very good method, you know, by using you by using differentiation and integration and chain rule and so on. Well anyhow, thank you for your watching.